This video is a tutorial of the RightsLogic Extranet tool where NBC Universal licensees can upload royalty statements, submit forecasts, and view the status of their account. This video will focus on how to view and submit forecasts. If you'd like more detailed information on these processes, please refer to the RightsLogic Extranet how to guide provided to you by NBC Universal. Forecast the Forecast tab displays forecast information for each contract the licensee has with NBC Universal. You can use the drop down menus at the top of the screen to filter the information displayed by account manager, contracting entity, or contract number, and selecting Search. In the table below, the parent rows will display the basic information about the contract, including the licensee name, account manager, contracting entity, contract number, license period, which is the start and end date of your contract, deal currency, and statement schedule. Select the arrow to the left of the parent row to expand and view all forecasts for that contract. Each row represents a forecast. The forecast ID, which should be automatically generated for you, will display the name of the forecast. The forecast period will indicate the period for which you will be forecasting. For example, if the forecast period is January 1, 2017 to December 31, 2017, you will be providing a forecast for the whole year of 2017. The forecast value will indicate the total amount you have forecasted for the forecast period. The forecast value will default to zero and should be auto-calculated for you by the system upon the successful upload of a forecast. The submission status displays the current status of the forecasts. The submission date displays the date you submitted a forecast. Lastly, the file name is what you have named your forecast. For more information about the fields displayed in the forecast rows, please refer to the how-to guide. Forecast Submission To submit a new forecast, start by making sure the applicable contract row is expanded and that you can see the submission status for all forecasts. There are three different values for submission status, requested, received, and rejected. The requested status means NBC Universal has requested a forecast from you, but you have not submitted a forecast yet. The received status means that you have submitted your forecast for that forecast period to NBC Universal. Lastly, the rejected status means NBC Universal has rejected your forecast and you will need to resubmit a forecast. If the status is requested or rejected, you still need to submit a forecast. Please note, one forecast should be submitted per contract and per calendar year. If you are forecasting for two different calendar years, you will need to submit two different templates. For example, you will need to submit one forecast for 2016 and one for 2017. To submit a forecast, the first thing you will have to do is download the forecast template by clicking on the file icon under the export file template column. Make sure your pop-up blocker is turned off or the forecast template will not be downloaded. Locate the downloaded template on your computer and open the file to fill it out. Forecast ID, contract number, deal, and currency should be pre-populated for you. When choosing IP, territory, licensed articles, channel, and rate type, please only choose from the pre-populated drop-down options. Do not copy and paste over the fields. If you expect to see a value that is not in the drop-down, please contact your NBC Universal counterpart. When choosing the IP from the drop-down menu, please enter either the most recent theatrical release from the franchise or the title that contains franchise asset in its name. In this example, you would either use the most recent theatrical release, Despicable Me 3, or Despicable Me Franchise Asset. Please do not input an asset for a prior theatrical release, such as Minions. When choosing the territory from the drop-down menu, use the territory in which the product is projected to sell, rather than the licensee's home country. In this example, if you are forecasting sales for girls' pajamas in France and Germany, you should fill out two separate lines. When choosing the licensed articles, you may not see the specific article you are licensing as an option in the drop-down menu. You may instead see a higher level summary. For example, if you have the right to sell Pajamas G, 
you may see girls apparel instead. Always select the most applicable option to your granted rights. When choosing the channel from the drop-down menu, be as specific as possible for the channel of sale. If you are selling with a particular retailer that is listed in the drop-down, please choose that retailer. If the retailer you are selling with is not in the drop-down, please choose the channel option that contains the word other. Lastly, please choose the applicable rate type from the drop-down list under the rate type column. The sales amount must be filled out in order for NBC Universal to accept your file. Please only fill out forecasted numbers for those quarters in which you anticipate reporting royalties. For example, if your sell-off period ends in quarter three, please do not fill out information for quarter four. Note that total is not required, but may be used for your own calculation purposes to get a holistic picture of your annual sales. Please see the RightsLogic Extranet how-to guide for additional explanation on how to fill out a forecast for contracts with flat fee and fixed costs per unit rate types. You will add as many rows as combination of rights you have in your contract. After you've completed the template, save the file on your computer. You may then upload it to the Extranet. In order to browse your computer for the saved file, you must first click on the pencil icon to edit the row. Once the row can be edited, select the Browse button and locate the saved forecast statement. Click Open. Once complete, click the disk icon to submit the forecast. Do not add notes in the Notes field because the licensor will not be able to see them once the forecast is submitted. If the upload is successful, you should see the submission status value change from requested to received. If the upload is unsuccessful, you will see an error message with information on why the upload was unsuccessful. Please see the RightsLogic Extranet how-to guide for a detailed list of all possible error messages and steps to resolve them. Submissions the Submissions tab is a read-only tab that contains a history of all royalty statement, forecast, and contact detail submissions. To view recent submissions, select the desired submission type from the Type drop-down and click Search to populate the screen. Here, I selected Forecast Submission and am now able to see all forecast submissions made for your licensee organization, the deal name and contract number for which the forecasts were submitted, the date of the submission, the submission status, who submitted the forecast, the forecast ID name, the forecast period, and the forecast value. At the top of the section, I can also filter by the current status of the submission and choose to see all submissions within a specific date range. This concludes the training video on the RightsLogic Extranet forecast functionality. For information on administrative functionality and submitting royalty statements, please view the other videos in this series. As always, you can refer to your how-to guide for more detailed information on the RightsLogic Extranet functionality.